Thank you, O Lord, for a time of your favor. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, with your salvation that never faileth. May the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. To begin our celebration, we prepare ourselves to meet God in word and sacrament. We take a moment of quiet reflection. We look back in our daily lives and find moments of grace and offer God thanks. We seek God's forgiveness for the times we have been sinners. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners to redemption. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to the lasting life. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Be seated, listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor, I answer you. On the day of salvation, I help you. And I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and a lot of desolate heritages. Saying to the prisoners, come out. To those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways, they shall find pasture. On every bear height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Sinai. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. The response is, the Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great of kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his work. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the resurrection and the light, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the father doing. For what he does, the son will do also. 
For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he's given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son, just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is here now when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave the Son to the, the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tomb will hear his voice and will come out. Those who have done good deeds in the resurrection of life, but those who have done the wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear. And my judgment is just. Because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The gospel of the Lord. Praise the first reading from Isaiah, I think, it is one that rings true at some point uh, with everyone. Um, uh, this is from the second section of uh, Isaiah, often referred to as second Isaiah. Um, and uh, they're preparing to return to, uh, to Jerusalem, they're returning to, re preparing to return to Israel from the captivity in Babylon. And uh, there's uncertainty in, uh, in, among the people. What are we? What are we going back to? Are we going to get there? What are we going to find? Um, and uh, ultimately, the you know they ask the question: Has God forgotten us? Um, and one thing to, to keep in mind is you know, they were uh, they were carried off and, and stayed in Babylon for about seventy years. So most of these people have never been in Israel. They've never been in Jerusalem. Uh, all they've ever, the only thing they know of it is what they heard from their parents, their grandparents, um, get these stories that, uh, you know, can be quite idealized, um, that, uh, uh, telling them what, uh, how wonderful that was compared to what this is. And this uncertainty gets to them and they, they ask that question, has God forgotten? Um, and, you know, and you think how often do we, think this when something goes bad in our lives, um, the loss of a loved one, uh, uh, some misfortune that, that happened to you, the, you know, the loss of a job, uh, trip and fall down the stairs and break your leg. And, you know, God, what, are you there? Why, why would you let this happen? Um, and uh, Isaiah is, is assuring them no, the reason you're going back is because there is a God and he is the God and he could never forget you. Um, he, uh, his whole uh, focus has been on you. He selected you out from all the nations. Uh, he selected you from among everyone that he created. How could he possibly forget you? Uh, the reason you're here is not because he forgot you, it's because uh, your fathers and forefathers forgot him. Um, and, uh, and, and that's something for all of us need, uh, need to remember. And, and it's shown most clearly in the gospel to continue the, the story from yesterday where he cured the, the cripple at the, the pool of Bethesda, the man who could never get to the pool when the waters bubbled. Um, uh, there was nobody to get me there. And before I could roll myself into it, someone else, hit the water and was cured. And I've been here for 38 years. And Jesus cures them. And in doing so, ticks off 
uh, all of the, the Pharisees and, and uh, people because he violated the rule of the Sabbath. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, this was an act of God. This was a miracle happening in their midst, but they were concerned about this this rule that was there, no, do nothing on uh, on the Sabbath, but they were also, uh, in their, their understanding of it, they were also correct. Um, this guy's been crippled for 38 years. Another day wasn't going to matter. Um, but, but Jesus pushed the button um, and, and not only pushed it to, to show them this is God at work, but he, today, he comes out and he tells them specifically, I am the son of God. Uh, this, this man was restored to help because of me. Um, because he, he loves all of his children, and through me, he healed him. He, he made him new. He recreated him. Um, and, uh, and, and Jesus is that ultimate answer to the question of the Israelites in, in that section from Isaiah. God not only didn't forget us, he sent his son to be among us. He sent his son to be one of us, he sent the son to save us. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, if, if you ever doubt that, uh, you know, God uh, remembering any one of us, all of you know, this huge creation, well, keep that in mind. He sent the son to save me from my sin uh, and to save each and every one of us from our sin. Get our prayers and bring them before our God. Begin praying for peace in our world. As the God send the spirit of peace to the minds and hearts of all men and women. This we pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray for the church and gratitude for God's word and God's sacrament. We pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray for our nation. As the God watch over it. Uh, the God enlighten our leaders with his wisdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pray for uh, our ministry of Catholic education, the ministry begun by the Holy Family, continuing here today at St. Francis. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our I continue to remember uh, my two Jesuit uh, brothers who have gone to God, uh, Father Dennis Dershow, Father uh, Al Fritch, um, they led extraordinary lives, and uh, may they be with God right now. We pray to the Lord. Lord pray for uh, our students preparing to enter the church, who themselves will be following the way uh, on Holy Saturday. Our RCIA students, we pray to the Lord. Lord for your intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we come before you, bringing you our hopes and desires. We've given voice to others, help family in our hearts, but all of them offer to you through your Son, Jesus, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. We of the earth to work with human hands, and you come for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
through the divine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual gift. Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of the name May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our fault, raise up our mind to bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. In our voices, we pray, John, that there is a humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. Gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, eat of it. For this is my body, which is enough for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take all of you drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. We pour it out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, save us, save the Lord. I draw you across in resurrection. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the channel of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world. Bring her to the form of the charity. Give us Francis, our Pope, and Jeffrey, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, Helbert and Dennis and all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, and Glorious Martyrs, Francis, Claire, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching. Raise our voices in the prayer given to the church by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a greeting of God's peace. Lamb of God. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. But through those called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord, God did not send his son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray that you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. All your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness that doing what is good in this world, they may reach you their highest good. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen. Bless you. Bless you again.